I'm not sure if even a child will find it appetizing. It's just been beat to death and it looks like it. It's like sandpaper. Ugh. Hey, Chef Brian Sow here, not your typical chef. And like I promised, I said I would be changing things up in 2021. And well, they're pretty damn changed up now. Kid cuisine. I mean, look at this thing. I'll, I'll put some B-roll up. It does not look appetizing. I'm not sure if even a child will find it appetizing. Last time I had a kid cuisine or a TV dinner, period. It's got to be like 25 years at least. Now that I have a child of my own, when I was passing through the frozen section and looking at the kid cuisine, I was like, would I ever feed this to my kid? Anyway, let's get to tasting this thing. Let's look at this corn. It looks, well, like frozen reheated corn. It's kind of dilapidated. The skin looks a little tough. You know, it's been through so much. Harvested, cut off of the cob, and then cooked, frozen, and then reheated. I mean, it's just been beat to death and it looks like it. I'll be anything you want me to be. I want you to be dead. I'm gonna try this corn first. Let's mix this up. There's this juice on the bottom. Yeah, all right. You know, this cloudy juice you would kind of come to expect, right? Let's uh, take a bite of this. Texture is terrible. It no longer has that hop that you would find from fresh corn. The flavor is mediocre at best. I'm sure when it was fresh, it was much better, but kind of has this old stale flavor to it. Almost kind of borderline moldy. It is not, it's not moldy, but it kind of has this strange earthy aroma to it. Texture is just super mushy. Exactly what you'd expect from a cooked, frozen, and then reheated corn product. Let's move into the mac and cheese. You know, eh, upon first glance, it looks kind of cheap, slightly radioactive yellow. Um, eh, it's not really that creamy. I don't expect also the macaroni to be al dente any longer. Let's try it. Hmm, interesting. Uh, the texture that I got was much better than I expected. In fact, it was borderline al dente, but there's zero flavor from this. Like I taste no cheese, there's no salt in it, which I guess it is a kid's meal. You don't want to over salt it. It's not even creamy. Barely. All right, let's leave that alone. Now we got the chicken nuggets. I'm gonna bite into this nugget. Oh. Oh, it's like sandpaper. Ugh, I didn't even, I spit half of that out. Let's take a look inside of this thing. It looks like sand, it looks like, looks like chopped up cardboard in there. Completely dry. Wow, that was horrible. No, 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 no bueno. That was rough, but now it's time for dessert. We have these little cookie bites that look like hamster food or, or guinea pig food, I don't know. Okay, there's a crunch. Sweet, but not crazy sweet like I would expect it to be for something like this, but <laughs> it, it, it's gerbil food. Mm. Texture is kind of weird. It's just really cheap. It's like, uh, it's like the modern day Chip Ahoy cookies, which I'm sorry, are not good. Modern day Chip Ahoy sucks. Out of everything here, it's probably the best thing, but even then it's, uh, you see, that's a sign from the universe. Don't eat the rest of this. So fuck this thing. Goodbye, kid cuisine. You have been a disappointment to me. If there was a zombie apocalypse and all the food had been consumed, there was no more fresh product. And for some reason, there was this giant freezer filled with kid cuisines. I would be very happy to eat it. But we are not in a zombie apocalypse, although some would argue that we're not too far from it. But anyway, we are not in a zombie apocalypse. We do have the choice to eat better food. I would not feed that to my child. I would not give it to the child of my worst enemy. I wouldn't give it to my dog. Honestly, I was really hoping to be pleasantly surprised. I'm clearly not. I don't even remember what I paid for it, but that's completely irrelevant because even if it was free, I would not want to eat that. I mean, if you can't cut some corn off of the cob, cook some macaroni, and even put Velveeta on top of it, for goodness sakes. 
that would be a thousand times better than this. Oof. But you know what we do here when we have really, 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 really bad food? We put hot sauce on it. So here today, I have the Resistor From Hell Hot Sauce. Resistor being a fellow local New York City heavy metal band. Definitely check them out. They are our homies. I'm a goddamn chef. I don't have a hot sauce. I need a hot sauce. Vaughn, Kenny, we need to make hot sauce. We need to make hot sauce right away. I have no idea how spicy this is, but uh, if the bottle is any indication, it's gonna be fucking hot. So let's put it on the corn. Let's put it on the macaroni. Put it on the nuggets. Let's put it on the chocolate chips. And let's try this again in that same order. All right, back to the corn. Does the resistor hot sauce help this lost cause? No. And does it help the chocolate chip cookies? I'm not doing that to myself. Oh my gosh, that was bad. That was really bad. Really bad. That was bad. I need something to drink. All right, let's grade this one out of 10. It was definitely a fun little trip down memory lane. It was also kind of eye-opening because now that I'm a professional in the culinary industry and with the experience that I've accumulated over the years, I can definitely see how much my palate has changed since I was a child. I can't give myself that much credit because quite frankly, I'm pretty sure many of you out there that are over five years old will probably think it's shit too. And that's what I'm gonna grade this thing. One out of 10, it doesn't even deserve a numerical number, it's just shit. Guys, if you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, make sure you are subscribed. I put out a new episode every single week. We're gonna continue to mix things up, in fact, let me know in the comments what else you want to see me review. I am Chef Brian Sow, not your typical chef, and I'll see you really soon. Shit. <laughs>